does, how did Dr. J go about creating an artificial leg which costs $30 but is superior in quality as compared to the artificial leg in the US which costs $20,000? There are two ways he tried to push the price performance envelope. The first breakthrough innovation he had, which pushed the price performance envelope related to the raw materials. You see, in the US, we use very, very expensive raw material to make an artificial leg. We typically use materials like titanium. Of course, Dr. J does not have a budget to use titanium. So his breakthrough innovation was he was able to use recycled yogurt plastic containers. Now, in the US, we throw them away, is it not? Think about how much we waste in the US. He tried to convert waste into wealth. When you design an artificial leg using recycled yogurt plastic containers, not only cost comes down. In fact, it goes to zero because it's thrown away anyway. But this is not about reducing cost, no. This is about pushing the price performance envelope. This is about doing more with less. This is about doing lot more with lot less. Actually, when he designed the artificial leg using recycled yogurt plastic containers, the resulting artificial leg was extremely lightweight. Imagine walking with an artificial leg made of titanium, how much weight you are carrying. Actually, Dr. J's $30 artificial leg was lightweight, comfortable, and durable. There is a second innovation he had, which pushed the cost-value relationship. And that relates to the fitting process. You see, in the US, we use very, very expensive technicians to fit artificial legs. In fact, they work with the patient for many weeks both fitting the artificial leg and working with them through the rehabilitation process. Of course, Dr. J does not have a budget to employ these highly skilled technicians. Neither such technicians are even available in Thailand. His breakthrough innovation, which pushed the price performance paradigm, was he trained amputees who received artificial legs. He trained them to fit artificial legs for others. These amputee technicians push the price performance paradigm. Certainly, the cost of fitting went down. Because after all, these are unemployed people. They were very happy to get some pay. In fact, it is so noble on the part of Dr. J to give employment to these poor people. But this is not about lowering cost. This is about doing more with less. This is about doing a lot more with a lot less. The amputee technicians in Thailand are better fitters of artificial legs as compared to the highly trained technicians in the US. Why? For one thing, the amputee technicians were not approaching this as a job. They were approaching this as a passion because they got their life back. Because they got their life back, they approached this as God's work. Imagine if you do anything as God's work, you are going to put 200% of your energy behind it. Not only that, based on their own personal experience, they figured out where it hurts when you fit. What do you need to do to accelerate the recovery process? Not only that, these amputee technicians turned out to be excellent marketing people who can convert non-consumers into consumers. Because if somebody asks them, why should I buy your $30 artificial leg? They can point to their own leg and say, it works. 